We're going riding on a freeway. <laughs> we can live in my pink Cadillac. She's just fun. She is I fun. Anybody who sings a song about pink Cadillac and making love. <laughs> I one time made... No, I'm going to get it good. <laughs> I made... <laughs> I had sex with an Avon girl. <laughs> I mean, a Mary Kay girl. Yeah, Mary it's Kay. Mary Kay. Get it right. Is that the pink Cadillac? Yes, Is that what they Mary do? Mary Kay. <laughs> and she literally had a pink Cadillac. <laughs> it was kind of, it was too cliche. Anyway, so. Um, that was really real. You did? I did. Yeah, <laughs> I did. Kidding. Yeah, you know, in the Cadillac, in of the pink Cadillac. Of course, that She was old. When I was a teenager, yeah, not teenager. Maybe I was like 20 years old. I remember I told you I worked at like a string of chilies. Yes. And so I worked at this chilies <laughs> and they had what they had a position that are called an expediter. Oh, right. Yep. Right. Or you Making stand sure at, the tickets. Yeah. Are you done stand at the window. Yeah. yeah. Stand at the window and sh- they collect the food. Like if you go out with somebody and you or one old guy orders a chicken tender basket and the other one <laughs> orders a <laughs> shit your drawers burger or whatever they're selling at Chili's these days, yeah. you know, the, uh, you know, blooming onion, mm-hmm. <laughs> the heart that's attack outback. onion. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> oh yeah. That's uh, awesome. Blossom. Oh, the awesome blossom. Yeah. Man, I've had so much awesome blossom in my life. I can't tell you, but anyway, um, <laughs> we used to eat those things. They come back from the table and oh, we yeah. just eat them. We'd oh. be like, Oh, whatever. <laughs> After they came back? Yeah. <laughs> you'd take a peek at the people. You'd be like, oh, they're clean. Yeah. <laughs> Whatever. We'd stick them up in like near the dishwasher and we'd just eat them all night long. It was disgusting. Yeah. But we were kids. We didn't know anything. Yeah. So the expediter would, if you ordered four separate things, there were certain stations that would make each thing. It was a different cook making, you know, one making salads and one making burgers. So this expediter would put take the ticket, put it all together, put it on the tray and make sure that it went out to the right. table at the same time mm-hmm. in the order in which it was ordered. Mm-hmm. So this, there was this girl, let's call her Angela, right? Angela, at the time when I was 20, she was 32. Okay. Okay. And she only worked at nights as an odd job. Uh-huh. During the day. Extra money. Yeah. During the day, she was like, a, I, I don't know, whatever the fuck she did, right? I'm not even sure at this point. She worked in an office somewhere. Okay. She was long. She was tall. She was lanky. She was like, you know, she's pretty attractive. I wouldn't say she was like super hot or anything, but she was pretty attractive. Yeah. But the second that I walked into this Chili's, she was like on my first chip. The second I walked into this Chili's, she was like already smacking my she ass. She was on you. She was like a total pedophile, right? She was like <laughs> smacking my ass and, you know, tickling my nuts. She was like, <laughs> go get your awesome blossom. <laughs> I was a little taken aback by her aggressiveness, but you know, but then, and, but then, uh, but then. <laughs> then I learned she had a pink Cadillac, so I did her on the butt. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> so she, uh, so over the next couple of of weeks, she progressively puts the full court press on, and one day she's <laughs> like, "Why not after you get off the shift, let me take you out for a drink?" I wasn't twenty one yet. Ooh. And I wasn't really a drinker at the time. Mm-hmm. And I was like, um, yeah, sure. That so, changed later. Yeah, that <laughs> a little bit. <laughs> so I went to the bar and it was a, like a big boy bar, you know, the bar that everybody yeah. talked about going to. But I didn't go to because I was in 21. She got me in there because she knew the bartender okay. and the bouncer. We went. We had a good time. We go back to her house. But I'm still a little nervous about making love to an older woman because mm. she's actually going to know what the fuck is going right. on. She's going to know. Experience. That's right. She's going to know, you know, where the arousal department is. <laughs> and I have no idea where <laughs> yeah, the arousal yeah. department is. I'm 20. You're guessing. I'm at that age where I'm scared of pussy, right? <laughs> yeah. so, I, so we go back to her house. I spend the night a couple times. Over the course of getting, she also had, she had a pool table and her own keg, like her own oh, bar tap down yeah. the bottom. She lived with two other roommates and they actually had Samuel Adams beer on tap. On tap and the, they knew the, one of the guys that worked at Sam Adams, like the beer purveyors. Yes. And so they would get a fresh keg every week and he would oh, come wow. clean the lines. I was actually there one time when it happened. He's like, hey man, you want a beer? And I'm like, yeah, let me have a beer. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't even know what I was doing. Like I didn't <laughs> Sure, let me get a beer, whatever that is. So as we spend a little bit of time together, one night we go out, we get drunk, we go back to her house. And I was explaining to her at dinner how much my family loved Walt Disney World. Uh Uh-huh. Yes. We go back to her house. Uh, We go down to her. I go down. She lived downstairs, like uh, down, whatever. I go downstairs and she goes to the kitchen. She goes, I'm going to be back in just a couple. Make yourself at home. Watch TV. I'm going to be back in just a couple minutes. I got a little work to do. Oh. 30 minutes later, 
she comes back and she was like, what's your favorite hotel at the at Walt Disney World? And I'm like, oh, the, the Polynesian, right? No doubt. Yeah, Polynesian. Polynesian. We stayed there. I, I'm almost done with work. I just was curious. Oh, okay. I was just thinking about our conversation. I'm curious. Okay. She comes back 30 minutes after that and she's like, let's go back to your house and get a change of clothes because we're going to Walt Disney World. <laughs> and I was like, we're going to Walt Disney World. And she's wow. like, we are going to Walt Disney World and we're going right now. I'm taking you to Walt Disney World right now. Man. I just booked a room at the Polynesian. We got to check in where, you know, we can check in tonight. Let's go. It's only seven hour drive. And I'm like, holy she's shit. She's taking her boy toy to Disney World. <laughs> she did. But I was so scared of having sex with this woman that four hours into the drive, I told her I needed to go <laughs> back home. <laughs> What? I was so scared what? of having sex with her. So scared. Because she was so aggressive as like a as a like a suitor, you know, as okay. someone who was like Yeah, she was taking charge. She was way taking charge. And I yeah. had never been with anybody like that because I'm a fucking teenager. I don't know shit from Shinola about shit, right? I mean, making love on your ba- on your dad's basement floor when you're 16 years old is one thing. It's a sloppy unsophisticated mess everyone's no one's getting off and everybody knows it no one cares because you're just like you're just trying to figure it out right yeah but now this woman's 32 she knows what having sex is like and i don't even know that my (laughs) penis works properly in any vagina let alone a woman who knows what a penis is supposed to feel like and i've had sex plenty just not with people who know what they're doing (laughs) right that's why i seem so attractive (laughs) because i put on the charm offensive (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> and then give them the best half a second of their life. Right. And they're like, whatever. Four hours into the drive, I start, I'm like in, in my head. Like we smoked a little weed. I'm totally in my head. And I'm oh, like, yeah. we, I got to have sex with her now. I got to have sex with her. There's no way I can't have, I can't not have sex with her. She's taking me to Disney World. I've got to screw this woman like she's never been screwed before. And I don't know that I can do it. I don't think I can do it. So I start <laughs> saying, you know, I, panic, set yeah, panic set in. So I'm just like, you know, I actually you're have four to, hours in. So you I, drive four, four hours back. Four hours in. And here's the crazy thing is that because she was an expediter, she was like, uh, I thought you were the expediter. No, she was the expediter. Oh, she was the expediter slash like part time manager. Got it. Right. Yes. So I start telling her, I'm like, listen, I actually have a shift tomorrow night and it would be really irresponsible of me (laughs) to not show up to that shift. (laughs) Meanwhile, I had called out sick to Chili's. For any reason under the <laughs> anything, sun. Yeah. Anything. Yeah. Sometimes I didn't even call in until the shift was halfway over. My tooth fell out. Mm-hmm. I got a bloody nose. My head stuck in someone's vagina. I mean, like, <laughs> yes, I just saying. called. I made every uh-huh. excuse. And so I start telling her, hey, listen, uh, I got a shift tomorrow night. I think, and I got rent due. It's really irresponsible. No problem. I'll get, how much is your rent? Uh, seven thousand oh. dollars. <laughs> she was like, she was like, I got you covered. I right, don't even worry about it. I got your rent. And I'm, and she's like, that chili. I'm, I'm taking you off the schedule. Taking you off the schedule. Oh, I can do that. I'm part time right? manager. She had the end. Yeah, I was trying everything. Chrissy, this went on for like an hour of the drive, and we could have probably gotten home a lot sooner had she just turned around <laughs> when I asked her to. But it's <laughs> that's awkward. Yes, it's a, okay. So now, get home. She drives me home. She's upset. Things kind of go weird. As you can see, Blue, my dog, is still here, just in case anybody's wondering. She didn't die (laughs) because of the pandemic or because of the holidays. Still here barking. So we so we get home. She's now she's upset. Yeah. Right. And so okay. She went through all the trouble. That's right. Fast forward one year, and I have now moved to a different Chili's. Okay. Okay. I moved to a different Chili's and I am bartending. (laughs) And I'm bartending, and someone comes up to me and says, Someone wants to see you in booth number whatever i run over there turn the corner and it's her oh. it's angela right and she's with a man she's with a, like a man man right <laughs> a grown and she's man. like hey this is my fiance david and i'm like oh damn nice to meet you congratulations yeah. you know uh you know i don't know what you want me <laughs> to say to but you. hey good to see you <laughs> kind of weird you know yeah your uh, your fiance <laughs> once took me to disney world i was nine yeah. <laughs> She literally tried to get me to sleep with her by taking me to Disney World. That should tell you everything you need to know. Okay. (laughs) So at the end of the night, she hangs back a little bit and like slips me her number. She goes, this is my new number. I am now bound and determined that I am going to set this situation straight. Right. (laughs) She's like, and she was like, I think we're breaking up. Here's my new number. So two weeks later, she called me at the Chili's. And I called oh. her. She had broken up with her fiance. Oh, wow. I called her back. That's she literally pulled up in her pink Cadillac <laughs> from Mary Kay. 
<laughs> we, she was doing well we, then. Yeah, she was doing well. We went to the uh, slinging that. We makeup. went to the overlook and uh, we made love. Okay. She and... never called me again. <laughs> Never once. Never once did she call me again. Oh my god! I think after all that. Well, I'm glad it happened on the Pink Cadillac and not in Polynesian Resort. Yes. <laughs> that would have been strange.